How long does it normally take to do a package to do a package of patterns? <clears throat> well, I'm actually so Jordan's the in-house pattern god. Uh, I try. <laughs> I put my hand at it. I'm actually doing some right now, and it's taking much longer than I anticipated. You know, I, I should have had three. I'm at two and a half, and showing Jordan, you know, and like, uh, you know, get, let me get some feedback. You know, how do I take it from here? But it takes a little longer than than you'd think. So I'd say start off in that in that swatch maker, and it's gonna help be final whenever you're done i would say uh it totally depends on um the pattern first of all the style of what you're going for and also if you have any assets that you can use in that like if you have logos or any badges or any things graphics that would fit into that instead of just making every piece that goes into the pattern from scratch which is going to definitely take you longer so great point yeah Yeah, use the assets you have so you're not like totally reinventing the wheel yep yeah, we're fortunate fortunate enough with like a lot of the patterns like Dustin's working on due tour, so he has some illustrations from Brandon and some pieces he had created for that is used in the branding. So there's like these little pieces to start with, you yeah. know. Mm-hmm. You're not starting from a blank canvas going, yeah. "Oh shit, what is this going to look like?" you yeah. know? So Yeah. You have to have a starting point almost. Yeah. You know? And, and it, it all ties it together, the story's told, yeah. you know. And- yeah. For see sure. all the pieces. And then maybe you change the colors up so it's like whatever the logo is, you use the logo but just in a different color way or format and it's going to hopefully make it look different and fresh. Yep. One thing we do a lot is like the sticker bomb <clears throat> style um, and a little trick or tip is like re- inversing the art if it works and adding like a stroked outline to it and then so you have two of the exact same piece but they're just flip flopped and then you can you know use that to help you know, make more space or then take that same thing and scale it halfway down. So then you have some that are big and then some that are small to give a little variety and that just helps eat up space quick. Yeah. yeah. And if you have that stroke on there, they sit on top of each other better. Yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah. That's a good cheat code. Yep, yeah, for sure. 